Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we are going to uh, integrate the Windows Virtual drivers from Proxmox into our deployment server. We will start by going to the website of Proxmox to download our drivers. If you scroll down, I'll provide links in the description for everybody. But if you scroll down, you can uh, see here using the ISO, click download the latest stable version and we'll start the download process I've already downloaded it so let's start by adding our drivers to our deployment service so if you open our Microsoft deployment toolkit we have our out-of-box drivers our Windows PE drivers that we have used in our previous videos and here we can select import drivers the most important drivers that we will be uh, using are the network drivers and the uh, disk drivers so let's start with the network you can find them under the NetKVM you select the right Windows version we are using Windows 11 for our boot uh, image so let's select Windows 11 64 bit uh, version, select OK, press next, next, and finish. We also need to import our dis uh, dr disk drive drivers, so we go back to the iSCSI uh, driver, Windows 11, 46 bit, press OK, next, next. And finish. Now we can boot our uh, Proxmos virtual machine with our deployment toolkit but what I uh, notice is that the drivers are not injected in the uh, Windows uh, image itself so we get uh, blue screens after the installation. To fix that I came across a good article that adds a driver fallback so we're going to use this article let's go through it so the article explains that um, we can create a fallback uh, folder fallback driver utilize powershell to detect if drivers are added or not give it the value of true and in case let's scroll down the value is true it will inject our fallback drivers we are not going to exactly copy this, but we will be using the, uh, the script because it's, it's quite useful. Let's start by adding the script. Okay, copy paste this again. I will leave the link in the description. So let's save this script to our deployment chair under the script folder for the convenience sake we will use the same name save it as a PowerShell script save and we will be using this variation to go back to our task sequences create a new task sequence let's say for example Windows 11 64 bit create some standard tagline task sequence we select for example Windows 10 Pro do not specify product key at this time can leave this default, don't want to specify an administrator password. Click finish. Inside our task sequence, we'll go through the, the steps that they provided. We are not going to use the fallback uh, driver, we are going to use in our example our Windows PE uh, drivers. 
and they already have a device profile for them so we will see we have a selection profile if you don't know how to do this um, it's, it's pretty straightforward you create create a new uh, selection profile let's call it this for example and here you can select which drivers you want for example windows pe press next and finish it will be uh, creating that profile for you because we already have that we go back to our task sequence <laughs> and we'll go back to the steps that they provide so they say create an extra folder so we're going to do that so in the pre-install phase you have the inject drivers and after that they create a new folder let's call it also right fallback And inside we will create a check drivers and inject drivers. So the check drivers is that uh, execution that they give here. So at the command line, we paste it in. give it the same name check for drivers apply and here we have it next step is inject drivers and we can copy and paste that to make it ourselves a little bit easier so we have the inject drivers here and instead of the fallback drivers we will be choosing our Windows PE drivers. Take note that we have to go to the options and add a task sequence variable with the exact same name, drive fallback equals to press apply. We have to add PowerShell support to our boot image, so let's do that. Go to our deployment chair, click properties, Windows PE, make sure to select the 64 bit version, go to features, and select the Windows PowerShell. There we go. Press apply. Okay, and don't forget after adding your drivers, you have to uh, update your deployment chair. Let's do that. Next, next. And let that process run for a bit. Depending on the type of disk that you are using or the, the speed of your machine, this can take a minute. In our case, we got an error. Let's see what it says. Is a specified package is not applicable to this uh, image. Let's see if we can fix it. Let's go back to our deployment share properties Windows PE 64 bit features. And if I'm correct, we also need the .NET Framework. And let's see what else they have selected, just to make sure. There we go. Update it again. we can press finish and we're going to update our 
deployment image, go to our deployment services, Prince Boot Images, and we are going to replace our parent image. You can find it under your deployment share and the boot folder. You can select your image, press open, next, 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 and finish. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and hit that subscribe button for more. Don't forget to ring the bell for notification, and see you in the next one.